Hmm, let's see. I have one wedding dress, one wedding ring, one phone, one toothbrush, one sewing machine. Just kidding, just kidding. Although I do only own one of each of those, I don't think that that is out of the norm. So today I'm going to be going through 10 things that I only own one of. I'm still definitely working on my journey to having less and being more minimal and intentional with things in my life, but I wanted to go ahead and make this video. There are definitely things that I probably only use one of, but I have multiples, so something that will be changing and just getting rid of the multiples here in the near future. And just a quick reminder, if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate you subscribing. And now we're for sure getting started. So for number one, I have one robe. And a lot of these things, actually probably most of these things, the reason they're on my list is because I used to have multiples of these and I have already seen the value in just only using one and I have pared it down to just that. So I got this robe from my husband as a Christmas gift. He knew that I was really needing a new one and it is super soft and warm. And when I got this one, I got rid of the one that I had that was old and ratty and needed to go. I didn't keep it. And like I said, I had multiples in the past and I do not anymore. So number one on the list. Number two is I have one hat, uh, specifically one toboggan. Um, during the winter time, I used to have, like I said, I used to have lots of different toboggans and gloves that were like matching sets and they were the cheaper kind of ones and I really just never used them. So I thought to myself, I'm gonna get one hat that I really, really love and I will wear every single time it's cold outside and I need to wear a hat. So this is the one that I got. I just got it off of Amazon and it's that CC brand. It's a very warm and cozy and very cute hat. Number three, and I just got these gloves for Christmas because again, I had a cheap pair of gloves and I was like, you know what? It's Christmas time, what do I want? I wanna step it up and get a nice pair of gloves. So I got these North Face gloves and so far, they are very warm and cozy. They fit really, really well. They're just a basic black pair. They work really well with my winter coat and also with my hat. So it's a great one. Did I say that the gloves were number three? Well, for number four, I have one credit card and I do or did work in the accounting field um, recently lost my job, but I have one credit card and this is obviously just an Amazon um, gift card, but I wanted to have something to show you <laughs> um, and not show my credit card. I know I could have like covered it up, but it is what it is. This is what I chose. So I have one credit card and a little bit of explanation behind that. So um, currently we just have a credit card through our bank. It just makes it really, really easy. I can make payments, um, links to our checking account, and we get rewards that we get actually Amazon gift cards. Usually we get Amazon gift cards for our rewards points around Christmas time and we use that for Christmas. So, I mean, I think it's a pretty decent reward system. Um, there might be some that are slightly better, but with all of the things factored in, that's what we went with. So, the reason we only have one, um, you, I do think that it helps build your credit when you have one credit card and you keep that balance um, at, at 10% of your 
credit limit on that credit card or under um, whenever they report the score every or the balance every single month. It helps your score tremendously and um, and within the past year I started doing that the 10% or less. I always kept it pretty low but not below that 10% line and it has really boosted our credit score. It's over 800. Um, So I think is a great one to have. It's good because I don't like to use my debit card at gas stations and different things. Um, Just for safety wise, credit cards are easier to dispute charges than your debit card. And like I said, I do really like that we can earn points and get some money back for that. Number five is I own one watch. And again, this is something that I used to have multiples of. Why did I have multiple watches? I like literally never wore a watch. I'm not even sure they're cute and I collected them. I'm not really sure, but it wasn't practical. I wasn't using them. You know, I, I, one of those things. Anyways. We got Apple Watches, I think probably a little over a year ago, and I super, super love them. I mean, really all I use them for is to tell the time and know when someone's calling or texts me when I'm away from my phone. So that's really, really nice. I haven't used a ton of the other features yet, but I think it's really, really nice to have. Number six, I have, well, I use very minimal makeup, but there are certain things that I only have one of in my makeup. Um, And this is one of the categories where I really only use one of other things, like one eyeshadow palette, one, why do I even have lipsticks? It's in a future decluttering video because it's really quite embarrassing how much makeup I have that I don't use, but there are certain things that I only have one of. Only have one mascara, and I don't use it very often. I don't know. I, I got this one a while ago. This is just a Revlon Ultimate All-in-One. Looks pretty decent. I have one foundation. This is the Unique mineral touch pressed powder um yes i did do unique at one point um but i have used this for years and years i don't use that much makeup and i do prefer powder um the pressed powder or just like loose powder either one will do but i like powder and I use, I do have one concealer, one liquid concealer, and this is just the CoverGirl one. Um, But a lot of the times I will use my powder foundation with just like a smaller brush and put like a little more concentrated mm, makeup in that place to conceal what needs to be concealed. So I don't know, maybe eventually I won't have this. We'll see. And then I have one blush. Again, I used to have multiple multiple blushes. I used to have multiple concealers, multiple uh, foundations. I probably usually only had one mascara in the past, but other these other things I have pared down to just one. And I will be doing that with other things in my makeup collection because honestly, as you can see, I don't wear that much and when I do wear a little bit more, I don't need a million things. Number seven is I only have one towel each for my children. So they hang up here in their bathroom. And when they were babies, you know, I had multiple towels and all these things. But honestly, I only need one for each of them. I don't have all the space. Like our bathroom is super tiny. Don't have all the space to store extra towels. And really, I wash them, you know, like once a week or once every week and a half because they don't, they're children. It doesn't get that stinky unless, unless they're outside. Like anyways, so I wash them and I put them right back on the rack. And so it's not like they're, 
in the hamper for a while and then in the dryer and then so I wash them and I put them right back and one towel is all we need. I do still have multiple towels, sets of towels for me and my husband because we do cycle through ours more often than the children. So it's worth it for us to have a few more ready and available in our linen closet. Number eight, and this might be a little bit like, is this one set? Because technically I bought them separate. <laughs> but I have one set. Um, it's actually four. So two of these like kind of spiky kind and then two wool balls. But I keep them in my dryer at all times and just are throw in the clothes with them. But I used to have uh, or purchase the disposable one-time use dryer sheets and uh, we decided to make the switch to these more like eco-friendly and um, you know they're definitely they have no sense or anything to them so it's better for our skin and stuff so this is one set of dryer balls that I have Number nine is I own one pair of flip-flops. These flip-flops are reef and I really, really like them. This was one of those things, again, I had multiple pairs of cheap flip-flops and although I did use them, I really tended to only use one and I wanted to invest in a better quality pair. So I bought these a few years ago and I've been using them ever since and only have the one. There are other types of shoes like I have two pairs of Converse's, two pairs of boots that I have a few more of because I do actually wear those and cycle through them. Um, but for flip-flops, only need one. And number 10. Sunglasses. I have one pair of sunglasses. And these are just a cheap pair, as you said, kind of wonky too, from Target. I, I do really like them. I like this style. Um, and I think this will be one thing that I will want to upgrade and get a nicer pair of sunglasses. But I only use one pair. It stays in my car. I actually had to go get it to do this video. But it just stays in my car. If we're ever going somewhere else that I need sunglasses, usually we're driving there. So I just grab them out of the car to use while we're there. And it works amazing. Like I said, there are definitely more things in my house that I only use one of that I need to get rid of the multiples and will be doing so in future decluttering videos. I've got uh, two specific really fun ones coming up. Um, a collaboration that I'm doing and then also I'm going to finish up and do like a whole house to clutter. Oh wait, uh, there's three. And I'm going to do a whole wardrobe declutter like humongous humongous so stay tuned for all of those <laughs> let me know in the comments some things that you only have one of and thank y'all so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day